It's 7 a.m. I'm feeling a little bit tired, but I still managed to watch some of that Manchester United preseason game. Welcome to another day in my life with the M2 MacBook Air. It's always good to just hit the gym first thing first in the morning, get it out the way. This morning I burned roughly around 350 calories. It's currently 8 a.m. right now. Long day ahead of me. So I'm just gonna go upstairs, get ready, make some breakfast, and tackle on the rest of the day with the M2 MacBook Air. So before we go any further, I just want to talk about the specs of this MacBook Air. I have the 16 gig RAM version with 8 core CPU and 10 core GPU and 1 terabyte of storage. I think this is a pretty solid spec. It could handle almost everything in my day to day usage. These new models start at 8 gigs, but they could go up to 24 gigs, but it does kind of get pricey the more you try to spec it up. I've heard and seen a lot of complaints about the base model having slower SSD speeds. So if that concerns you, you probably need to bump up the storage though. Alright guys, so I just finished up my morning emails. It's currently 10.28 a.m. right now. I've been using this since roughly, I would say when I woke up at around 7.30 because I watched the Manchester United game. After that, I went to the gym and everything, but we still have 100% battery because of course, it was using Thunderbolt and then the adds charge to the laptop. So it didn't really drain any battery. But today we have a very long day, guys. I just want to briefly tell you what today is. So it's my day in the life video, day in the life series. I basically use these products throughout my entire day and I won't be charging it too much because we're trying to see what the battery life is through regular days of usage you know like I'm gonna use Photoshop Lightroom stuff like that a little creative work but right now I'm just gonna head out to a coffee shop to brainstorm some ideas for our upcoming projects <laughs> So I ended up at this coffee spot here in Toronto called Bevy. I don't know, since recently I've been just getting into coffee and I don't even think I drink it for the energy, but to me it just tastes good. I kinda dig the overall vibe of this place, it's basically an art gallery and a skate park. They even have a mini basketball hoop area where of course you know, I had to put some shots up. So after all the extracurricular activities, I decided to get some coffee in my system and since it was kinda hot today, I went for an iced latte. Headed to sit down so I could get on my call with speaking and also just finish up a lot of emails I had from this morning. Hey, nice laptop. M2 MacBook Air. Starlight. 16 One terabyte SSD. Eight core CPU. Ten core GPU. Nice. Hmm. This guy right next to me has the same laptop. It's kind of suspicious. I guess great minds think alike. The first thing I did was connect it to their public Wi-Fi and also took out my AirPods Pro for audio since I had my first meeting of the day. This meeting with Spigen lasted for around 20 minutes. There's a new campaign coming up and we had to go over all the products that I need to talk about and strategize how I'd publish it across all my digital platforms. So that's for YouTube, Instagram, and also for TikTok. Strategizing content like this could take a lot of back and forth through emails, so I like to just hop on a call and iron out any uncertainties. All right, so that was hectic. Just wrapped up my final meeting for today. Did some light emailing, you know, schedule a lot of things that I have to do. Also in the meeting, I used the 1080p webcam. I think it was pretty good because in here is not really that bright. So you guys could be the judge of that for yourself. So after my meeting with Spigen, I moved over to a different location because it was kind of getting noisy in that spot and it was a bit too dark for my liking. <laughs> I used my time to get some work done and I did a few emails and worked on a campaign I had for Oregon Office in Lightroom. And the M2 chip was really fast. It didn't slow down not one bit as I was jumping back and forth between Lightroom and Photoshop. The colors look great and anyone would be happy to do creative work on a laptop like this. The screen is also amazing. It gets super bright up to 500 nits of brightness on a 13.6 inch liquid retina display. It's a glossy display so if you work in front of a large window, you want to keep in mind that you 
might see some glares. There's also no SD card slot on the M2 MacBook Air. You do get two Thunderbolt USB Type C ports and also MagSafe for charging. So if you want to plug in an SD card, you have to get an SD card reader, which doesn't look the most aesthetic, but it gets the job done. In regards to the typing experience on the M2 MacBook Air, the keyboard was really great. It's very easy to use, especially if you had previous MacBooks, there's nothing to complain about here. Seeing that I was at the coffee shop for about an hour working, it was kinda winding down to 2pm and I have to finish up a video and meet up with friends. So I called up an Uber and headed over to the Blue Ant office. So we finally got to the Blue Ant office at around 2.20 p.m. and ran into Brad from Mobile Syrup. And actually he was just reviewing his MacBook Air unit as well and he had this to say. He's gonna show us the continuity camera. You have to be on Mac OS Ventura, so let's see how it works. I think you have to be on iOS 16 too. iOS 16? So right now, obviously you can see in your camera I'm holding it. That's clean. Um, but my iPhone just shows up here, so like FaceTime camera, goes back. Oh, so that's the original camera. Yeah, and then this is the iPhone camera. Huge difference. Yeah, and you can move it. But the interesting thing is, so when it's in landscape, it's like shooting kind of wide. This looks like default iPhone camera to me. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think it goes telephoto when you switch this way. Oh, the portrait switch. Switch it again. That's cool. Oof. Wow. That's like that's locked in. Interesting. Quick comparison. Oh, nice. What do you think about the starlight? Oh, the blue. So yeah, the yours does together. look more blue. Yeah. I think the starlight's nice. The like orangish lighting in here makes it look more blue though. I find under white lighting it gets like very, very Look at black. the fingerprints though. Yeah, here you can Gross. Yeah. <laughs> it's even worse on the bottom, I think. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. You can see like here the wear and tear around the USB-C port. Mmm, chipping off the blue paint actually, yeah. yeah. That would be like it way less It doesn't show on, on, on yeah. this one. So, how are you liking the M2 so far? So far, so good. Been fine. I don't know. I don't know if I have anything like super, super bad to say about it. Yeah, not too, anything bad or anything good. Cool. So I guess Brad just did my job. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Brad from Mobile Syrup. He literally just showed us a demo of this view on new Mac OS Ventura. Yeah, yeah, that's what I've been doing this morning, figuring that out. Um, so yeah, on Mac OS Ventura and also iOS 16, you have the continuity camera feature. Brad was literally 50 feet away from the laptop and it would still work. It's not lagging. This would be perfect for anyone who does a lot of video conferences that needs to just show things off because this view is really cool. I pulled up the demo. We're like, oh, we can play like four layers of pro res but it's like but the people that are buying macbook airs aren't gonna be using pro no. res they're like they're not the pro res people they're the, the macbook pro yeah, people so like, for like what this is i think it handles it well good laptop you just have to know what you want from the laptop and yeah. that's that's the most important part but yeah thanks bro no problem for your insights and buy. yeah <laughs> Now we're gonna film that video for BenQ. So after my talk with Brad, I ended up transferring all my footage from earlier today. I copied about 35 gigs of footage in 12 minutes, which was not bad, honestly. I also scripted the video for BenQ and filmed some B-roll for that said video. As I was scripting, one of my friends called to meet up for lunch, so I needed to find a restaurant we could go to eat and I saw this spot called Local Pub Eatery and also a spot called Cost. So I'm not sure which one we'll head to, but I'll figure that out to later on in the day. So after another successful b-roll shoot for this BenQ video, it's now 3.30 p.m. But before we go, we have to hit you guys with a traditional day in the life tweet. Say hi to be my day in the life video for the M2 MacBook Air. Hit tweet. Boom. Now, let's see how much of you guys made it into the video. Let's go to cost because I'm starving. I have to grab some food. The biggest problem is not the laptop itself. The biggest problem is the M1 Air. That's the problem. What they should have done is discontinued the M1 Air. Yes. Yeah. And just made this 1099. Bumped it by hundred dollars. That's it. Honestly, it's always a great time linking up with friends you haven't seen in a while, just chilling in the city, talking tech with a beautiful view and awesome food, nothing but good vibes. Eventually though, I had to leave and head home to finish up some work. You know what, guys? 
last last and everybody go to our breakfast I finally got home at around 7.30 p.m., hooked up my MacBook Air to the studio display, and offloaded all the footage we shot. I still needed to finish editing my desk setup upgrade video with Ergon Office, so I tackled some of that as well. The video performance on the M2 MacBook Air was pretty decent. There wasn't any hiccups while editing in terms of just chopping up the 4K clips on the timeline, and even adding some transition and effects. But where things really slowed down is after about the 30 minute mark into editing, the laptop started to get hot and because of that, it went into throttle mode. The MacBook Air is starting to heat up, it's starting to get hot and this is when things start to slow down, you know what I'm saying? So as you can see right now, I'm just playing a regular timeline. And as you can see, it's skipping frames. But that was not happening I like 30 minutes ago. 30 minutes ago, it was super steady. So that's when you would really need the fans. As you can see, everything is moving slow right now. And it's really hard to edit. Real world usage where you're like editing on the timeline. If you have the M2 MacBook Air, this is to be expected. It starts to throttle because it starts getting hot. Like if I put my hand right under, right here, it's hot. You know what I'm saying? And bear in mind, this doesn't have any fan, so there's nothing to cool it down. Maybe if you get something to raise the laptop up, it might be better. But right now, it's just on this desk mat. But yeah, I just thought I should let you guys know that. Also, guys, quick little battery update for you. So, surprisingly, we have 65% battery life left, which I think is pretty good. Let me know what you guys think down below. All right, so as I'm about to finish editing this video, I just wanted to shout out everybody who replied to be my day in the life video. You know what I'm saying? The screen should pop up right. Boom. So a lot of people have been giving me slack because I didn't show everyone. So here it is. Scrolling through. Shout out to everybody who replied. This is the, you know, we have to do it. We have to we have to give a shout out to everybody right here. Spiggle, Zad Wardo, everybody that replied. You're the real MVP. You know what I'm saying? Just add some hearts too. Let's see if we could make it to the bottom. It's over 200 and something replies so it might be a lot if you see yourself screenshot it tweet me oh that's the end there we go all right so if you see yourself screenshot tweet me and i'll follow you back to finish up this edit one of my friends just hit me up we're supposed to link up so i'm not sure if we'll make it but i'll try my best because i haven't seen them in like two to three weeks so i'm gonna try my best to crunch this edit and then head over there and then chill for the rest of the night Even though the M2 MacBook Air had its little throttle session, surprisingly enough, it picked back up and I was able to edit some more for about another 40 minutes and I didn't have much issue. As much as I would love to finish this edit, it's currently winding down to 11 p.m. and I have to link up with some of my friends later tonight because we're making music and I also just want to show them the M2 MacBook Air. I know I've said this in my full review, but I'll say it again. The M2 MacBook Air is a very powerful device handling tasks such as coding, day-to-day -day activities, browsing the web, etc. It's easy. As you can see on this 422 10-bit timeline in Premiere Pro, it's easy to scrub through at around half or even quarter preview. It really starts to slow down whenever I set the timeline to full preview, but honestly, that's almost with every computer I've tried. Aside from this, it's a beast of a machine. I decided to export this 1 minute and 38 second video with the 4K export settings in Premiere Pro and it took me around 4 minutes and 32 seconds. Yes, I'm sure the M1 Pro MacBook would have been way faster, but I think this is still impressive for such a thin and lightweight device. My recommendation though is that if you really want to take content creation serious and edit videos on somewhat a professional level, don't get the MacBook Air. Even though you could get away with some form of editing here and there, I think it's a bad investment in the long run. However, if you just need a fresh new laptop and you're going to do daily tasks and maybe some editing here and there, and you want something that's lightweight and portable and fits right into the Apple ecosystem, I think the M2 MacBook Air is a great option. Anyways, I just pulled up to my boy's crib, showed them the new MacBook Air, and I think they were digging it. Now we're just gonna cook up some music and I'll see you guys again in another day in my life. These things you get on the right side, fam, it's a gold, it's a gold mine.